be a Meg a big week at the box office? Hey, hey, or not. Welcome to yet another week of Cinema Week. This is the week of August 10th, and uh, oh man, we got a lot in the uh, theaters this week. The theater? Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of live releases, a lot of limited. It's crazy. Let's get into it. First up, we've got The Meg. Giant Shark, oh my. Um, there's a scene though that I'm not too stoked about that's in the trailer. There's a little dog, dog. with the pink bows. He'll be fine. Every scene in the trailer, I'm not okay with. <laughs> even even when you see Jason Statham and Ryan Wilson in it. Rain. Rain, Rain Wilson. I'm sorry. Ryan. I, I, I'm sorry. It's a habit because of Star Wars. Rain Wilson in it. Yeah, I I don't care about this. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Yeah, it's a big giant shark, so. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it, it, it annoys the hell out of me. That it seems like every single movie that has to deal with underwater adventure <laughs> bullshit is always under the sea. Or not under what? the sea. It smells like an underwater Beyond world. the sea. What? What? That's that's the song. Oh, in the, oh. In the sea, yeah. Beyond the sea, oh. somewhere waiting for me. And then a shark like that. I thought yeah. you meant like the actual storyline. I was no, like, you're like, I hate that this underwater movie is underwater. I'm like, hold <laughs> yeah. on a second. <laughs> no, the movie, like, every every single soundtrack <laughs> of, like, every single un underwater adventure movie has, is, has Beyond the Sea, and it's annoying as hell. Yeah, broaden your Triggered. horizons. So the next one after that, we've got Dog Days. Woof! Bunch of people in L.A. who have dogs are brought together by their lovable canine best friends. It stars some interesting people. Finn Wolfhard, yeah. Yeah. Vanessa Wolfhard. Hudgens, and Lauren Lapkus. Uh, do we know who those three people are? I know who Vanessa Hudgens is. Go Lauren ahead, Lapkus, I know who that is. And we know who Wolf, uh, or Finn, Finn Wolfhard, Wolfhard is. Yeah. Who is he, Ransom? He's the kid in Stranger Things, and... Oh, oh yeah! Okay. Bing, bing, bing! Um, bing. Is yep. it, isn't, uh... What's-her-face from Parks and Rec in this as well? And... Uh, yes. If so, she was not in the first listing, so I, I may have missed her. Okay, Ann yeah, Perkins. that's awesome. Ann Perkins. Ann Perkins. Hey. Next one we got up is Slenderman. It's the horror movie Ooh. based on my hit Slenderman video game. Or the movie based on the people who kill people back in the day. The so do we know what this is? Off. It's it's literally like a, an the... adaptation of the video game. Okay. I, I am... So almost not, certain, but almost. It's not a documentary. It's not a documentary. I'm, Go see that documentary. That was fascinating. Okay. Yeah. It's a documentary. I don't know if I could watch that because I hate it when like movies are like based on a true story and then it's really scary. It is. Based I mean, no! it's not based on a true anything. Oh. It's it's about. Go watch it. Okay. Yeah. Is it scary though? No. Okay. It's just horrifying. Uh, speaking of horrifying, um, well, and actually the movie's not, but the subject material might be a little questionable. Black Klansman! Oh, I forgot this was coming out this week! It's the latest Spike Lee joint. The most important thing about this is that it's a detective, a black detective, who his, uses his partner to infiltrate a KKK chapter yes. in Colorado Springs. Uh, it stars Topher Grace, Adam Driver, Laura Harrier, and John David Washington. Wait, Kylo Ren's in this movie? Yeah, yes. I just yeah. got his lightsaber and killed the people in the KKK. Listen, There's he's been much more things than Kylo Ren. Yeah. Or he was Kylo Ren. I still have to see Paddington. I hear that movie is amazing. Isn't that about a cute little bear? I... No, different, different. Uh, it's different. Type. You also need okay. to see Logan Lucky. Nice. Yes. Meh. I've heard about that. Um, I also I can finish it. do you think that Eric from that 70s show is in this movie? Oh, it's gonna be creepy seeing him in this. He's As the clan leader? Oh my god. He's a real rough time with this character. Yeah. 
Uh, is I it bet. like disturbing for him? Yeah. I, well, I, bet. Yeah, I bet you're playing a, a guy that is a leader of people that believe that a cult that wants to, is to enslave or kill black people. people. Yeah. No, oh, no not anyone. Anyone. That's just anyone that's just not, not white. white. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, mean, I was being too basic. I'm sorry. Um, but my one hope for this, it probably won't happen, but it would be kind of neat. Um, I kind of hope that Spike Lee knows enough about Colorado politics and says something about the Stapletons. Ooh, um, okay. You know, my boss had an interesting conversation with me about that. I want to does it take which. place around then? It, around... Well... Uh, no, yeah, it does. Yeah, right. because it's or, talking about... It's and the Spear, co- too. It's talking about the, Col- the KKK Colorado chapter being built. And if I'm not mistaken, this is a... It's definitely, like, not a true story, but it's based, it's on, based on factual... Yeah. On events. Yeah, the, events. Well, it, yeah, the, he was a real person. Exactly. part of the yeah. Colorado Springs. Yeah. So yeah. it's it's not like a, 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 a the, docu-series the, for any... Yeah, the any things reason, in it like, don't necessarily actually happen, but the, the characters are real people mm-hmm. that, that did actually infiltrate yeah. the... It's pretty cool. It's, it'll, it it looks like it'll, it's going to be pretty good. It's Spike Lee. I'm going to be watching this at some time or another. I'm excited. So, in uncertain or limited releases, we've got quite a bit. So, uh, first up, Madeline's Madeline. I think that's how you say that. Or maybe it's Madeline's Madeline. I'm not sure. I think it's Madeline's Madeline. Let's go with that. About a theater director's last performance and a young star in her employ who takes the final performance a little too seriously. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun. The next movie up is Skate Kitchen. It's a young teenager befriends an all-girl skate group in New York and learns the true meaning of friendship. Looked at it, and um, I wasn't familiar with a lot of the people in it, but I did see Jaden Smith was attached, which I can't remember the last time we was in anything since After Earth or whatever that movie Is was. Is this that A24 movie? I don't think it's A24. No, no, it's no because Anthony Rinsen would be like, yeah, right, way more so. Jonathan is making? Maybe. Yeah, that's skate different. Works. Yeah, okay. that one's different. Okay. The next one after that is A Prayer Before Dawn. It's a true story of an English boxer who gets incarcerated in a Thailand prison and earns his freedom through fighting in a tournament. It stars Joe Cole, who most people will know as the youngest of the Shelby can from Peaky Blinders. Real excited for this movie. It's also A24. Also, big shout out to the fact that they did this in a live prison. It is based on true events, too. Yes. Look that up as well. It is filmed in an actual prison that's still being used today. It's crazy. crazy. It's cool stuff. So, down for that. Uh, Then we've got Buy Bust. It's a foreign film, and it's about a drug bust in in, uh, Manila, um, and I believe uh, it's it's a Filipino film. I'm not, I don't know a lot about it. I had to look that up real quickly. Forest of the Lost Souls, a film based on two strangers that plan on ending their lives in the infamous forest known where many people go to do so. They need to stop doing movies about oh that forest God. because it's really insensitive. Go ahead. Yes. Uh, it's the twist that's supposed to be here, though, and I don't know if this is going to change your mind on it or not, but it's supposedly that one of the two strangers uh, strangers turns out to be a budding psychopath. Lovely. I don't know if I like that, though. I feel like they're still no. Just, yeah. <laughs> Like, this, this is like a, this is a place. serious subject for that region and, and yeah, for, that, they, for that entire culture. Yeah, and it's it's disgusting that people still keep making movies about this they think because like, then you have people like Aaron Paul or whatever Logan his name Paul. Logan Paul, Paul yeah. that go out and be incredibly insensitive about like laughing at when he like, found a d- dead body. Yeah, yeah. and then like put it in his YouTube video. Next. No. Asshole, yeah. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna just support that movie. Yeah, we'll just skip right over that. Along came the devil. It's a VOD release as well as a limited release. It's a horror movie. Animal Crackers. Same thing. It's an animated movie. Animal Crackers in my soup. Monkeys and rabbits. Sorry, okay. There we go. Elizabeth Harvest. Now this does have a VOD release as well as a limited and. This one, I I actually piqued my curiosity a bit. It's a sci-fi horror movie, and it's about a newly bred bride that enters a room in her husband's estate that was forbidden for her to enter. But she realizes uh, in this room that there's a secret that reveals that she may not be who she thinks she is. Um, If you want, if you're curious at all, I would go see the trailer because I don't want to even speculate on what I think is going on here, but I think it's a very interesting 
reversal on uh, an ex machina type film. I was gonna say that. It stars a ton of what I think we've determined as B list talent here because you don't recognize their names, but when I put up the faces to this, you'll recognize their faces. Uh, it stars uh, Carla Gugino. Now I'm gonna mention what she's in, and then you're gonna be like, aha. Gerald's Game Spy Kids. Oh! <laughs> Kieran Hangs. Same thing, right? Don't remember that name. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy and Silence. He was one of the fathers uh, in that movie. And we've got Abby Lee. Again, no one remembers her name, but she was in Mad Max Fury Road and Neon Demon. And she was one of the uh, brides uh, in uh, Mad Max Fury Road. That's probably where you would remember her face from. I so remember again, two of them. If I put up their faces, though, bet you'll remember them. Because, yeah, they're, they're, they're people that I've seen in movies, but I still haven't recognized them as, like, names yet. I don't like to think of that movie, The Undemon, though. That's fair. I don't like that. That's why I also put Mad Max in there as well. Thank you. So, interesting film. I might look into it because it's intrigued me. Hope, Spring Eternal. We've got Summer of 84. It's a limited release in theaters, but wider VOD in a few weeks. And then we've got The Package. It's a Netflix original. So, much like our top of video that we just uh, shot. That is it for limited releases. But what is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 in limited or uncertain releases. That is a big week in movies. What are we excited for here? Meh. Oh, a, a meh week. I mean, I'm, I'm excited, excited, like, I'm excited like, for this yeah. movie. Yeah. I just am oh. so far behind in movies right now. Yeah. I still haven't seen Ant-Man. Shut your mouth. No. At least I finish shows. At least I watch movies. I watch Wait. movies, just not in the theater. Katie, you still haven't seen Ant-Man? I have not seen oh. Ant-Man yet. Not all of us can afford it. Well, I'll take you out to see Ant-Man. Oh, thanks. That'd be so nice. I'm, I'm going to see The Meg. I'm going to do it. Yeah. Sorry, Ransom. Uh, are we going to go see it? Um, only because Dwight Schrute is in it. That's I'll literally see. my only reason. I'll, I'll I'm think not about wasting it. my money on that movie at all. If I if I have a free slot for my my sub AMC subscription, yeah, I'm not gonna like run out and see it. I'm not like, oh my gosh, Thursday release, let's go see it. I'm just like, okay, if I'm bored, I'm gonna go see it. Yeah. Which, girl, I'm looking at my calendar that's right behind Ransom said I'm probably not gonna go see it that weekend. <laughs> yeah, if I ever get around to getting the AMC movie subscription, I feel like the same methodology here. The only movie that I'm really excited for is Black Klansman, and it's just because Spike Lee is such an amazing director, he kills it every time, and man, this is the type of material that I really want to see. Like, I cannot wait to see that movie. I'm, expect I'm expecting a slight note of comedy in with the seriousness, yes. too, because of the nature of my, it. So, my looking forward to that. My favorite part in that trailer is with uh, Danny Glover, and he's oh, like, I seen that. yeah, so there's, there's this part in the trailer where he's like, he's hired on a, he's like part of a catering company, and the catering company was hired to like, do a thing for the clans meeting, and so he's sitting there with another guy next to him, and he's like, if I had known this was a clans meeting, oh. <laughs> I would not have come in. Oh my god, yeah, now I remember that, yes, yeah, I remember that quote. Oh man, I am so excited for that movie, so let us know what you're excited for in the comments below, and uh, you know, see some movies. We got a lot of interesting releases this week, I can think of only one that we're excited for, but again, if you have any other opinions, let us know. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.